Now that we have our view set up, let's go ahead and hook up all of our view objects to our header file. By doing this, we'll have an idea of where our application is going and the types of information we're going to have to give to our view controller so that it'll be able to update its view properly. But more on that later. For now, holding down the Alt key, press on ccviewcontroller.h to open up the Assistant Editor. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up all of our view objects. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more space here. And even a little bit more than that, I can go ahead and readjust my storyboard here. And the first thing we're going to hook up is our image view. And this is going to be the background for our application. So let's go ahead and add a few returns in the CCP controller so we have some space to drag in all these properties. So let's go ahead and control drag from the image view to our header file. And we're going to make this an outlet. And its name is going to be background image view. And it's going to be a type UI image view and its storage type is going to be strong. We're going to go ahead and press connect. Next, let's go ahead and hook up our health label. So here we have a, a number that's going to be displayed. So we're going to select the right label here. We're going to drag this in. We can simply call this health label. And we can press connect. And let's go down and do the damage label next. And we'll do the weapon. And finally, we can do, connect the up the armor label. Next, we need to hook up our story label. And this is going to be where we display our story. So let's go ahead and connect that in. We can go story label. We also want to hook up our buttons because we're going to be changing the text of our button and for our compass points we're going to need to know the information uh, in our compass points as well as the ability to hide our compass points and make them unhidden as we go through our application. But we'll show you what that looks like as we go through. So let's go ahead and hook up our action button here so we can hook up a property here. And notice that for our button we're first going to make it a connection type of outlet and we'll make an action later. So let's first do the outlet. So we can call this action button. And let's go ahead and hook up all of our compass buttons. So I can scroll down here to give myself a little more space. So let's hook up north first. We can say north button. Next, let's hook up the west button. And after that, we'll hook up the south button. And finally, we'll hook up the east button. Now that we have all of the properties set up for our application, we need to go ahead and add our IB actions. So the first IB action we're going to add is for our action button. I'm going to go ahead and add a space down here. And I'm just going to actually write a comment here. I'm going to say IB actions. So it's really obvious that I've grouped everything together. In fact, I can go to the top of my properties here and I can say something like IB outlets. So it's very obvious that I'm grouping all my outlets together and all my actions together. And these comments help us really organize our header file so it's much easier for other developers to read our code. So let's go ahead and hook up our action button. So I'm gonna hold down the control key and drag to the header file. and We're gonna make this an action. And we can say action button pressed. And I can make this type UI button. And next I'm gonna hook up the north button so I can control drag. And again, we're gonna make sure this is an action. And we can say north button pressed. And we'll make this type UI button. And next we can hook up the west button. So let's hook that up. Again, an action west button pressed. And we'll make this a UI button. And we can set up the south button. And make sure that's an action again, UI button. And finally, we can hook up the east button. And once again, action and UI button. So now our 
header files properly hooked up to our view, we're going to be able to start updating our code now and we won't have to touch our storyboard for quite some time.